The question, what are some ancient mythic influences of the film Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock? The most obvious mythological influences from the Greek mythology. The myth of Orpheus and Eurydice, in which the musician Orpheus loses his wife, Eurydice, to death and ventures into the underworld to rescue her, only to lose her again. Vertigo plays off of two central themes of this story. The character of Scotty and Madeline are the representations of Orpheus and Eurydice respectively. In the movie, Scotty attempts to save Madeline from drowning in the San Francisco Bay. He succeeds but loses her in a suicide off the bell tower. He gets a second chance by recreating Judy and Madeline's image. He achieves a resurrection, but loses her again when she plunges from the bell tower. As in the myth, it was Scotty's flaw that lead to his losses. His acrophobia causes him to lose Madeline and it is his insistence on recreating a dead woman that leads him to lose Judy. Read more about this myth, Orpheus and Eurydice. Scotty can also be seen as Tristan, the ill-fated lover of the medieval legend Tristan and Isolde, who marries a second woman named Isolde when the true Isolde of his passions weds another. That legend ends with the death of Tristan and the suicide of his beloved, just as Vertigo ends with Judy slash Madeline's accidental death and Scotty's living death in the wake of tragedy. Read more about this myth, Tristan and Isolde. The Roman myth of Pygmalion and Galatea is also a clear influence on Vertigo. The sculptor Pygmalion, Scotty in the film, uses his art to create a sculpture of the perfect woman, Vertigo's Madeline, and then tragically falls in love with his creation. George Bernard Shaw's play Pygmalion, which was later adapted into the musical My Fair Lady, also echoes here, particularly in the scenes in which Scotty, as a Pygmalion professor Higgins, attempts to transform Judy, his Eliza Doolittle, into a proper lady, but without any of the comic effects of the play. Read more about this myth, Pygmalion and Galatea.